And welcome to Kentucky Burn Reviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar, and that is Distinct Tequila. Uh, I can't remember how much it is. 100% of agave, 40% alcohol by volume. And I really, really want to be able to say distinct wrong because it's spelled with a Q for so, reasons. First thing before we open this is this is Trader Joe's uh, high it end. Is. This it is, is high end tequila. Yes. So this is made to compete directly with this, which is Patron. This is the silver version. Yes. This is the basic. It only basic costs tequila. twice as much. Yeah, $23, $54. Yeah. The bottles are very similar. They both have that hammered texture, both similar corks. Mm -hmm. This one's round, this one's square, though. This one's um, made out of hardwood, that one's made out of cork. So $23. Um, and tequila, my thing with tequila is if you're not spending at least 25 bucks, yeah. it's, it's normally it not. It tends to be kind of bad. Yeah. So. Especially the day, the day that follows your great drinking rampage. So, uh, yeah, Trader Joe's tequila. Comes with we'll an see. actual cork. Yeah, all right. I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit surprised. Um, this is not the, this is not the silver version, is it? No. No, this is the, this is the, the, the more aged. This is their. Not it's, not it's not their like it's equivalent to like uh, Patron's like the standard version, not the silver. Yeah. Okay. I can I can deal with that. It's slightly the color is slightly it's a slight like gold it's, or off. Hue I was to it. yeah I was about to say it's almost clear but not really. It's got a slight. Uh, I was trying to make up my mind. It smells surprisingly smooth. Like it doesn't have any harshness in it for tequila. No. It, I mean, it's nice. That's nice. It smells what like people want you to believe agave smells like. I mean, it smells like good tequila. It really does. Like the yeah, problem with bad tequila is it smells like almost like cat litter and like very kind of ashy, yeah, dirty, dirty dishwater. Yeah, it, it's rough. Yeah. This does not smell like that. This smells like that shits. actually that actually smells really good. Yeah. That's, uh, that is surprisingly smooth. That is. Wow. It's got that agave sweetness to it. It's, it, there's not a lot of burn there for 4% no. or there. I mean, it's enough to let you know you're having an alcoholic drink, though. I don't, this, again, I don't say this very often, but this would be a pretty easy shot. Yeah. It's not, it's just a tiny bit sweetness. You got a salt shaker on you? No, I don't. <laughs> but uh, it's a tiny bit sweet, um, nice. Like you get your agave, your typical tequila, you get a little barrel. Um, it's it's surprisingly good. Now, here's the question: Is it as good as Patron? That's the question. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and say no, but very close. I, I, yeah, I kind of have to agree with you. Patron is. Patron is almost, uh, uh, it's, it's weirdly not alcoholic flavored. You know, like you can't get a lot of alcohol burn, but you can tell there's a lot of alcohol in it. So, uh, kind of an odd situation. Uh, great. But that's for, uh, for, for 20, what was it? 20, $23. $23. $23. Okay, tell me, you can, there's no there's no tequila in this price range that is this good. I might I might keep that in a bar. I'm going to go ahead and say that in this price range, uh, this is the best tequila I've ever had. In the $30 price range, it's the best tequila I've ever had. Oh, yeah. Um, it's maybe maybe it's fighting it out with like $1,800. But uh, $1,800 is, 1800 is $35. Uh, this is the ginger and lemonade. I'm having a hard time with it. So we're mixing with Canada Dry ginger and lemonade because tequila goes well with uh, citrus mm -hmm. and ginger is a nice touch. So I did one to three, you did one to two. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like you would expect. Still got a little bit of tequila. Oh, that smells really good. Just a little, just a, a hair of ginger. I might actually add a little bit more ginger ale to this. So while Maybe we're drinking I won't it straight, actually. while we're drinking it straight, let's go ahead and give our shreddings. Uh, sorry, drinking it mixed. Let's go ahead and give our rating straight. Uh, this is an eight and a eight and a half. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. This is one of the best tequilas I've ever had. Um, 
it's not quite as good as Patron, and availability is an issue because there's one Trader Joe's in the freaking city of their little, like, <laughs> Kentucky. Yeah. There might be another one somewhere, but I only know of one. It's in, like, the busiest spot, too. Right. Um, so, and this was, it seemed like it was flying off the shelves. Mm hmm So, um, I think I'll give this an eight. Uh, it is a little bit on the sweet side. Mm. Like, that agave comes through, but there's a... Almost like an agave nectar type quality to this. It's very, uh, it's very sweet. I think this is the right amount of Canada Dry to put in this, though. Um, it is delicious as a mixer. Mm -hmm. It's a great. This is a great drink. I, I was gonna say it's as good, but I think it's slightly better as a mixer. It's just so smooth and easy going. Um, hmm. I'm thinking a nine for a mixer. Really? Yeah, I know that's crazy, but I'm gonna go with the nine, and my same reasons as before is availability and uh, all right distribution. But it's it's still not quite as good as Patron, but I mean for the price difference between these two, that's a pretty steep you price can difference. Get two and a half, you can get two and like a third bottles of this for one bottle of this. Two and one sixteenth. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you can get quite a few bottles of this for this. So. My point is, is is this that much better than this? And I would say no. It, it's, yeah, I'm, it's, I'm gonna have it's to agree with you there. It's it's really good and it is better, but it's not fifty four dollars. For sure, better. I'll have to agree with you there. But I'm still gonna give it an eight. Like it's good. It's very good. But so here here's the bottom line. If you have no money and all you drink is shitty shitty Margaritaville and Jose Cuervo, mm. and you want something that's not Montezuma. If you want something that's not hot garbage, uh, this is the way to go. And you have a Trader Joe's near you. Yeah, I mean, this is easily one of the uh, best uh, tequilas in its price range. It blows out the $20. It blows out yeah. the $20, 30 and it's up there. I would say it's in the $40 it's gonna, range. It's going to have to have a rough... It's going to have a hard time being beat by a lot of tequilas that come off the shelf at a regular liquor store. Yeah, I and mean, if this was sold... See, uh, this is kind of what I'm looking forward to whenever we do a review of a liquor from Trader Joe's. That's the stuff right there. You know what sucks? I want to start a new series uh, where we do store brand versus name brand. Yeah. My only problem is we only have... There's only one or two stores in Kentucky that sell liquor because we have really dumb liquor laws. Yeah, so Trader do. Joe's does it's it, true. and there's one Costco in Kentucky that sells liquor and really? I don't have a Costco membership. I also um, don't have a Costco membership. So it's really difficult. And then also price. So like I want to put this against the gold the gold patron, uh -huh. but I also don't have You would have to buy a, a, a bottle of gold patron. Yeah. I wonder if we get like a shot bottle of it. It's still $34 for a a, a, a pint. So, all right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. It is the best way to support us. It is. You can also check us out on Patreon and Facebook if you'd like to support us in other ways. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.